recording. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> it's like we let me think. Um, day before Thanksgiving. Glad you guys could join me. Uh, we are learning about Washington, D.C. today. And if you're new with us, hello, welcome. Um, I, Marnie Hernandez has been with the company almost seven years, um, chose to do these trainings for one thing to, you know, again, learn about the different destinations, about the different programs we have, et cetera. But besides learning, now, again, um, I started doing this because my accountability partner kept telling me, you know, when are you going to do your training on Princess, on Disney, you know, so we could go and travel. And I kept putting it off, putting it off because I'm a single mom with four kids. I was working three or four jobs and I'm like, I don't have time. I don't have time. So I finally put it on the calendar, sat down and started doing it. And I thought, why don't I invite others to do it with me? So that's what I do now. So I do this three times a week, sometimes four, and I do record them. And again, besides learning about the different destination programs, et cetera, you get to meet other agents across the country. Some may be right next door to you, and then they got to be friends and accountability partners, did events together. Um, but again, um, learning, like Karen may be from Washington, D.C., so she can share that information with us. Um, and then also, we get a lot of perks. So if you guys can't finish your training with us now, um, because a lot of times we take tests and stuff, and again, that's fun to do when you have help, right? Um, make sure you do finish it, because a lot of these programs um, give uh, FAM trips, familiarization trips, meaning they'll invite you out to Washington, D.C., for two free nights, you know, or um, I got it with Jamaica, two free nights in Jamaica, you know, all I paid for was my airfare, amazing, you know, with sandals, um, no, it's actually three free nights, so again, you get perks, you get invited to lunch and learns, webinars, pres um, uh, different um, uh, um, events, promotional events and stuff, okay, so that's why we do this, um, and also you get a certificate at the end. So you get to share that with social media. Hey, guys, I'm now a specialist Washington, D.C. Did you know, you know, and then share all that information. OK. All right. So hopefully everybody is in and um, registered. If not, the link is right here. Very easy to register. Let us know if you need help. Um, also, just so you guys know, and we're going to be working on the calendar for December. Um, but right here in our incentive voucher group is where you will find um, all the trainings that we have and um, the links so you can pre-register and stuff, okay? So um, that is in our incentive voucher group, okay? So hopefully you guys are all part, part of there. Um, the contact number, okay, so Megan, if it's if it's asking for your agent information, you put yours and your address. If it asks for the agency, that will always be Archer Travel. Archer Travel is the travel side of the business. Evolution is the marketing side. So you never want to put that when we're working with travel, okay? All right, so it's always Archer Travel. It's um, for the agency. It's their email or not their email, but their address, the IATA number, et cetera, okay? All right, let me go ahead and give you this link also for our incentive voucher group. So that way you guys can join us if you have not yet, um, because this is where I usually post for the entire company, okay? This is one of my programs. Um, if you're not part of the incentive voucher group yet, please join us because um, it's a great way to promote your business, okay? And of course, it's running kind of slow, so I apologize for that. Okay, so share group. When you join this incentive voucher group, please make sure that you answer all the questions, okay? A lot of people don't, and you get denied access, okay? There you go. But there's trainings. I do trainings once Marnie. a month. Uh-huh. Go ahead. I have a quick question for you. I was um, sending over my logo. Do I send over the logo with the white background or the logo with the transparent background? Either or, because we just use it as a snapshot. So either or, it's it's um, it doesn't matter for us. We just use it as a picture. 
Okay, thank you. So you're welcome. And Sandy actually handles that and she's amazing. So if for any reason she can't pull it, she'll ask you to resend the other one. But usually anything that comes over, we're able to use. Okay, so um, it's not like the other departments or whatever company, you know, Google and stuff like that, where you have to have a certain type of um, thing. Okay, you're welcome. Um, so just so you know, again, I record all these. Okay. So here's my YouTube channel. Um, I just posted the ones we did last week, okay? Um, just so you guys know, um, do we sign up with our business page or personal page? I would say your personal page, Carol, um, but again, it's up to you, um, whichever, okay? Um, and then just remember when you sign up for Instant Voucher Group, put, you know, when you order a voucher, make sure you put the name, that you're registered under. Cause some people will put, you know, Sandra, you know, Smith, and then they put Sam or Sammy as the name. And it's like, wait, is this the same person? Okay, so you gotta make sure you do that so you don't confuse her. All right, so you see here, uh, you're welcome. Panama Beach, we did Intrepid to Travel. That was kind of interesting. Uplift, you guys wanna learn about financing for your customers, great program here. Uh, definitely get in there and get your certificate. If you guys want to share the opportunity, there's the video there. Can you guys see my screen? Make sure. New share. All right. And I'm just showing you this real quick while these people are getting registered. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, right here is my uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you guys get in and register with my YouTube channel. Um, I just booked my Cancun. Okay. Yes. Link, um, the training for today is right here. You have to get in and register with TBO. Hopefully if you've done some of my trainings already, you're already registered. You just have to go into the Washington DC. Um, but, uh, in my YouTube channel, we did a training on Oasis and La Collection. I just booked my trip to Cancun for April. Um, actually I'm doing May now. Um, two nights free, La Collection, once you do the training here. Once you do the training down here for Oasis, you get three free nights. So I just booked five free nights. Um, Patricia, if you said that you didn't go to a live training, um, there's actually a training video on our incentive voucher group that you can watch. We want to make sure before you start using the vouchers that you understand how they go. So right here under guides is all the training. Okay. And then I do a live one and I also have it here on my YouTube channel. Okay. So under guides, um, I think it's pulling up, but it'll, it'll show you um, all the training videos, how to, you know, order a voucher, et cetera. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and I'm I can sorry, no. Oasis. That's okay. Right, I just have one quick question. Go ahead. Um, okay. So you said that there's a video that we have to watch. How can we watch the video if we're not a part of the group yet? Um, once you sign up with the group, like some people have gone to the training and stuff already. Um, some people have got on my YouTube channel here and seen the training um, right here. Incentive voucher training right here. If you watch that, if you go to the group itself and sign up, if, it, if you say no, then she'll send it to you. Um, or you can go right here and watch it. Come on, under guides. So you can watch it on my YouTube channel. You can watch it on the incentive voucher group, and then uh, you can attend a live one. Um, otherwise, oh, it's on the say, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube right here. Yeah, my YouTube channel right here. Incentive voucher training, right there, and then it's also in the incentive voucher group. So perfect. Um, Thank right you. So here. Much. You're welcome. See right here, can you guys see it says terms and conditions of the vouchers so you can learn about each voucher. There's hotels, there's car, um, uh, restaurants, there's um, vouchers for, um, you know, hotel and car rentals, there's um, airline. Okay, found it. Perfect. Okay. And then here's the training video, how to submit payment, etc. Okay, so all that is there. All right, let me see. I had somebody. Thank you very much for the 10 day. Okay. Hey there, we're starting our Washington DC program if you want to get in. Otherwise, I'll answer your question when I get done here. Okay. 
All right, so everybody registered and ready to go. Let me know. Um, also, if you're just registering, make sure to put in the chat box if you have questions. It's very easy, okay? Very good. All right. So overview and um, frequently asked questions. Now there's a few different ones with Washington DC. We're gonna just finish this one today and then we'll look at um, doing others later, okay? And as you see here again in our incentive voucher group, um, they actually have the, um, the calendar. So did I bring my, um, yeah. So on, on Friday, we're doing Croatia, and on Saturday, we're doing Bosnia. So if you want to learn about those two destinations, let me know. Join us. And then on the 30th, we're doing Singapore. Okay, so those are the upcoming trainings that we're doing. So hopefully you guys can join us for those also. All right, registered. So you guys are repping ready. Yep. All right, and again, as I said, if you have to leave for any reason, um, the training will be put on my YouTube channel so you guys can finish. Again, we want you to finish, get that certificate, get invited to the FAM trips, get those free trips, et cetera. Oh, Oasis, I think you were asking me about that. There's an email you're gonna receive. Um, Oasis actually is sending, will send you a certificate that you put your request in and you email it over to them. La Collection, you fill it out. They're going to send you back a thing and ask you to confirm those dates because they can't be changed, and then they'll book that for you. So again, two or five free nights, three at one, two at the other. Watch the training, decide which resort you want to stay at, and get in and use those perks, guys. And then I have a timeshare there, so we're going to go for about uh, 12 days, I think. All right, Saudi Arabia, I I think we did one for Saudi Arabia, but I will ask if I can attend on Friday, can I see the recording? Yes. Um, oh, nice. Okay. Congratulations on your cruise. So yes, again, all my trainings are recorded and put right here on my YouTube channel. Um, let me tell um, Christine Whitaker helps me with the calendar for our certificate workshop and we have planning out um, Hey there, I'm on my training right now, but can you put down Saudi Arabia specifically for pilgrimage? See if we can find something for that for next month. Okay. All right. And hopefully I've heard that the internet is pretty good on the cruise. So I hope to be continuing my trainings while on the cruise. So we will see. If not, I've got a, a lot of amazing agents that will fill in for me. All right. So uh, again, if you're new with us, welcome. Um, go ahead, and a lot of people will either follow along on their phone and then do the test online, or they have a split screen. So whatever works best for you guys, um, you know, make that work for you, okay? All right, and otherwise, and I, again, I'm sorry, we're redoing our house, so I don't have all my pictures up, so <laughs> it's kind of barren, and my laptop doesn't have a uh, screen back saver thing, so you don't have you know much to look at here, but that's okay. <laughs> Pay attention to the training. All right. Um, so about this course, welcome to Washington, D.C. Capital of the United States, Washington, D.C., or D.C. as locals call it, is not a state at all, but rather the District of Columbia. Monuments and me um, memorials, eclectic neighborhoods, uh, true local flavor. Washington, D.C. is a place unlike any other. It's your home away from home with free museums, and America's front yard. Let's face it, many people think DC starts and ends with federal government, but this city has so much more and it's at the top of its game. Um, Michelin starred masterpieces, pre-Broadway premieres, hands on history. Find out what the district is all about, okay? All right, let me see, just search it. How do we get to this page you're on? The sound is cutting off. I'm on a different screen. You made it home. <laughs> Hey, all right. Does everybody hear me and see my screen? Okay. Um, again, uh, I, I put the link out there for everybody to, um, to register. Okay. It's also, you know, out there from the beginning of the month with the trainings listed and each link. Uh, so just go pre-register. Again, if you're just registering now, um, we will wait for you. Okay. Um, it's cutting in and out. Okay, so yeah, click on destinations or the link that I just sent you. 
Okay, do you think I should move? Maybe I'll move over into, let me move. I think my computer saved enough. All right, I'm gonna move over into the living room next to the internet and see if that'll help. Uh, 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 uh. I'll just have some of my fur babies probably crawling over me, but okay. All right, how are we now? Everybody, is that any better? Da, 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 screen share. Yes, I'll screen share. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. Okay. All right. Seems to be perfect. Okay. Screen share. Go back to the training right here. Okay. Now, again, everybody hear me, see me. We're good. Again, if you're just registering um, in the chat box, if you need help, um, put to everyone. Okay, guys, I want to make sure that you guys um, uh, get the answers and I'll be reading. So um, we don't want to leave anyone out. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's start the course. Come on, come on. All right, so Washington, D.C., District of Columbia. Now, look up here, guys, add to itinerary. So instead of taking screenshots and stuff, all you need to do is click right here, all slides. That's going to save right up here under your profile. Do you see my itinerary? You'll click there, and all your itineraries of trainings that you've done, it, sh it shows here I have five that I've done on this program. Um, it'll pull it up for you, okay? So that way you don't have to kind of do, you know, we got Egypt in here, Argentina and some others. So you don't have to um, do like screenshots. It'll save it for you. And again, one of the great agents helped, you know, showed us that the uh, a few uh, trainings back. So just click all slides and that'll save that for you to refer back to. OK, because a lot of people will do like binders or um, folders on their desktop and stuff to refer back to, okay? So it's a good good resource. All right, so the capital of the United States, Washington, D.C., or D.C., as locals call it, is not a state. Okay, so we went through that. Let's face it, many people think D.C., okay, let's find out more. So the capital of the United States, Washington, D.C., or D.C., as locals call it, is not a state, but rather District of Columbia, located on the east coast of the country with New York City, only a three-hour journey away by train, okay? Could be a test question. Pay attention. All right. Let me see. Got a question here. Register. It takes me to log in. Doesn't let me log in. Okay. Can somebody help Jody to get logged in while I'm reading? That would be great. All right. Um, city center to city center, and it's only 1.5 hours away from Philadelphia making it a perfect East Coast USA multi-city trip. The city is only a 15 by 15 kilometer and is shaped like a diamond, surrounded by the states of Virginia and Maryland. The proximity of these states allow for visitors to plan day trips to experience everything from the Shenandoah Mountains or wineries of Virginia to the beaches and blue crabs of Maryland. Close to 800,000 um, people reside in DC. Most of these residents are between the ages of 25 and 40 and an increasing number of are starting families. The city is truly vibrant and energetic every day of the week. All right, you see the correct thing here. Check email, you have to go to email. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thanks, guys. And again, don't worry if you're still registering. I'm just reading. We will wait for you when we get to the quiz. All right, how about neighborhoods? Locals know the difference between Washington and D.C. The latter is a city made up of neighborhoods where people live and visit, where restaurants and pubs buzz, cabs are hailed, hotels are busy, and friends laugh. No politics, no power plays, no problem. There's so much to love about each one of the D.C. neighborhoods. A few worth mentioning are, mentioning are in coming slides. Okay, so let's go to the next one. 
All right, Georgetown. Let's find out about Georgetown. This is the oldest area of the city and was once an independent town before Washington, D.C. was established. Georgetown is a beautiful area with stately homes and picturesque cobblestone streets. Visitors should spend some time wandering the area for a glimpse of life during the Revolutionary and Civil War eras. M Street in the center of Georgetown is famous for shopping with everything from high street name brands to small boutiques and independent fine art galleries. Street lovers can't miss one of the area's cupcake stores, most famous being Georgetown Cupcakes, but be prepared for a queue. Located on the Potomac River, Georgetown is also a beautiful place for waterfront dining, as well as water sports like kayaking and paddle boarding. A Georgetown Pier is also a stopping point for a water taxi with transports passengers to the wharf. All right. So the Wharf DC Southwest, Southwest Waterfront. Okay, this is the newest as well as one of the most popular areas in DC. As its name suggests, the Wharf sits on the water of the Potomac River. It is just four blocks from the National Mall and can be reached by the Southwest Shuttle, which runs between two stopping along the way at the International Spy Museum. The shuttle is free, which is nice, and takes about 10 minutes. The wharf is home to the Main Avenue Fish Market, which is the longest continuously uh, running seafood market in the United States. Visitors can buy from there directly to eat outside or stop into one of the high-end restaurants lining the wharf. Fresh crabs and crab cakes are the most popular choices, but you can find a range of delicious um, seafood options. The water taxi runs from one of the wharf's four public piers, heading both up to Georgetown and down south to Old Town Alexandria and Mount Ver Vernon in Virginia and to National Harbor in Maryland. Yay, okay, thanks guys for helping Jody. See, we all help each other. That's what's great about our company, guys. We're in business for ourselves, but not by ourselves. All right, how about Adams Morgan? All right, this cultural diverse neighborhood is known for its nightlife and its eclectic dining scene. One of the most popular night spots is Madam's Organ, which is unique to say the least. The Blues Bar is a great starting point to discover DC's diverse nightlife scene. Walking around Adams Morgan for ADMO, as it's known by locals, you'll find historic row houses, some painted bright colors or covered in murals, as well as a variety of independently owned stores. On ADMO's eastern border is Meridian Hill Park, known for its drum circle each warm uh, weathered weekend. To the west is Rock Creek Park and the National Zoo, which are both free to enter and explore. All right, so really quick, I want to make sure everybody's registered because now it's time for our first quiz. So make sure you're in and registered. We will put the answers in the chat box. Again, we all help each other and we make sure everybody passes, okay? All right, uh -uh. let me go ahead and get to my Southwest. Okay, all right. Let's get going. Which is the oldest area of Washington, D.C.? Is it Georgetown? Is it Adams Morgan or the Wharf? Now, also, just keep in mind, guys, it may your questions may be out of order, but a lot of times they are the same questions. Yours may be at the bottom. OK, so don't don't get scared there. All right. So which is the oldest area? Georgetown. Georgetown. Georgetown OK. How many neighborhoods is DC made of? Is it two, three, or four? Thought it was four. I took screenshots. Give me a second. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's good. That's a good way to do it. Um, All right, Megan's saying four. Okay. Let us know if anybody changes their mind or, or finds out differently. Which is the longest continuously running seafood market in the United States? It's Main Avenue Fish Market. 
Okay. Main Avenue Fish Market. Which of these is best for waterfront dining and water sports? The wharf. On the wharf. The wharf. It's Georgetown. Okay. It's Georgetown. Okay. Yeah, it says located on the Potomac. Georgetown is also a beautiful place for waterfront dining, Perfect. as well as water sports. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so Georgetown guys. What water taxi from the wharf can be taken to reach where? Georgetown, Old Alexandria, Mount Vernon in Virginia, National Harbor in Maryland, all, all the, the above. above. All the above. Thank you. How far is New York from Washington, DC? Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Very good. I caught that one, right? Remember I told you. <laughs> Sometimes I can <laughs> catch the ones they're gonna get. What neighbor, which neighborhood is known for its nightlife and eclectic dining scene? Is it Adam? Adams? Adams, Adams Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. Okay. And then Washington, D.C. is? District, District of Columbia. District of Columbia. All right. So we've got Georgetown. We've got four neighborhoods. We've got the longest running is the actual Main Avenue Fish Market. Georgetown is the waterfront dining. The taxi is all of the above. Three hours from uh, train to New York to Washington. And it is um, Adam Morgan is the eclectic, eclectic and nightlife. And then District of Columbia, Washington, DC. Let's check it out. Ding, 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 ding. Do, 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 do. Sometimes it takes oh, away. We missed one. We missed one? Uh, that's okay. I think it was the wharf, that one. Okay. Let's see. Let's view and see. Is this, am I viewing the certificate? Did we get a certificate? Oh, we already got a certificate. Yay. So see, guys, you already got your certificate. Woo -woo. Anybody know which one we missed? I'm looking at if it's... Probably the neighborhoods. The neighborhoods. That's what yeah. I'm looking at. Okay. As long as you guys all pass, did everybody pass, get their certificate? That was a quick one. All right, just I don't know, I can't the find neighborhoods. It. Okay, no worries, as long as we pass. And again, you can click here and share on LinkedIn, letting people know. Now we have another course here. You can plan your travel, places of importance, food shopping and events. So do you guys wanna do another one while we're at it? Or you guys wanna move on to you know your day since it's a holiday, it's up to you guys. Some of them are really short. Some of them can take hours of these trainings. So luckily, as you see, this one took what, 20 minutes. Um, so again, congratulations, everybody. Um, let's do I'm another up for one. another one. Okay, so we'll do planning your travel to Washington, okay? So again, make sure everybody is, pass i want to make sure everybody got gets their certificate we don't want to move on until you guys have that so let us know anybody would okay everybody good i missed one but not sure okay i followed along okay all right so trisha if you follow along you should do the test along with it so you can get your certificate because again why do you want to go back so that's why i tell people you know, make sure go in, get that test taken. Um, Anna, um, go back in and, and sign up. It's very easy. We want to make sure we help you. Um, it's very easy to get registered. Jody just had an issue and she got in within a couple minutes. Yeah, okay. Marty. The uh -huh. answer to the neighborhoods was three. Three. Okay, oh. thank you. Instead of four. <laughs> All right. Um, so Sukina, Sukina, I hope that's right. Um, go back in and, and we'll give you the answers. Okay, we just went over them. Um, so the answers are, are right above uh, and just take retake it so you can get your certificate, okay? Um, you can ask in the chat box which ones you, know, you missed and we will give you the answers. So the neighborhood's three. Um, the fish market is the answer, the one. Um, Georgetown, I think, is the answer. Um, all of the above is one of the other answers. So just let us know which ones you missed and we will make sure to help you to pass that. All right, so we're gonna do planning your travel to Washington. All right, perfect. 
All right, so again, um, do it the same way. Once you're in, you just have to click and you're already registered. And again, any future ones we do with this program, you're already in and registered, guys, okay? So, um, Anna, again, try to get in, catch up. You'll be fine. Get your certificate, okay? All right, so this one is planning your travel. Learn about transportation options to make your way to the nation's capital. Discover the best ways to travel like a local and around the city. DC has one of the safest, cleanest, most efficient transportation systems in the world. Arriving into DC as either the first entry point in the United States or as a stop on your itinerary is convenient. Three major airports servicing the area, Amtrak. Our train system is the ideal solution with trains that run every hour from New York Penn Station to DC's Union Station, including early morning and late night departures, okay? So that's what we're gonna get started on today now. Second course, so you get another certificate today. So again, congratulations, everyone. Again, if you're following or it's just getting registered, we will give you the answers to the prior test and then you will be already set up for this one. So hopefully you'll get two certificates today. If not, maybe even more. Again, if you're just joining us right here, click add to itinerary. So you get all those slides saved under your um, profile here under my itineraries. All right, so arriving at DC is either the entry, first entry point in the United States or as a stop on your itinerary is convenient. Three major airports servicing the area. Dulles International Airport or IAD is the main airport for international travel. Which one is it? Dulles. It's located 45 minutes outside of the city of Virginia. By the, end, by the end of 2020, Washington DC rail system, the Metro will connect Dulles to the downtown area on the Silver Line, doing away uh, with the need for taxi or ride share. You have Baltimore Washington International P Airport, BWI. Make sure you know you guys pay attention to the different codes so you'll help memorize them for travel. All right, um, is the alternate airport for international arrivals located a few minutes outside of Maryland. It again, about 45 minutes outside downtown DC and has options for travelers to use Amtrak or regional rail lines to go to Union Station. And then the third one is Reagan National Airport, DCA, closest to downtown, primary domestic airport has a terminal for Air Canada. DCA is connected to the Metro system on the yellow line. Travelers can get to downtown DC via rail, taxi or rideshare all within 20 minutes. The airport is currently undergoing renovations with an additional or additional of, and I'm sorry, an addition of an American Airlines terminal. This is expected to be complete in 2021. So as you see, some of these trainings are a little older, so things can change just like in anything, a travel, you know, can change <laughs> over in an hour, you know. You have um, by rail or by bus, so you have Amtrak. Our train system is ideal solution with trains that run every hour from New York Penn Station to DC's Union Station, including early, come on, get out of here. This thing always pops up. Okay, early morning and late night departures. Amtrak offers two types of services. Um, Acela, which is the fast train, 2.45 minute journey, and then regional, which is a 30 minute longer journey, okay? Uh, bus stations, Get your line ID just open. Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jenny. Um, can you please put the link back on? I already registered, but I enabled. Um, if you've already registered, all you need to do is go into um, like destinations and then Washington, D.C. And that should be able to get you there. And then again, let us know which questions you need help with. All right, bus transportation, widely used option between popular cities and the line, the East Coast, cities that line the East Coast. This journey takes about 4.5 hours, cost effective option as you purchase tickets starting as low as $30 one way. Whether your guests travel by train or by bus, they will arrive or depart from the main transportation hub in DC Union Station. 
Union Station is not just the main central rail station for DC, it's also the hub for most of the sightseeing tour departures. You can find a great array of food and shopping options for your last minute gifts. Union Station also features its own Metro stop, plenty of taxis waiting as you exit for easy transport. Okay, and then how about going by Metro? Washington DC has an extensive commuter rail system called the Metro. You can reach all major attractions on the Metro rail system. Travelers can purchase passes in advance or once they arrive in DC. The system uses Smart Trip card, which is reusable and reloadable card. Station machines take both cash and credit cards. Travelers can add money as needed. One ride is usually $3, but one day passes are available for $14.75 per day. Again, that could be a test question, so pay attention. All right, the circulator bus featured here is a great resource for visitors. These, um, there are several lines that snake their way through the city, able to take passengers from downtown area to many of the DC neighborhoods. The circulator bus makes less frequent stops than a regular Metro bus and only costs a dollar. Um, if using the smart trip, oops, hold on. Oh, we look like we lost some people. All right. Um, if you're using the Smart Trip card, guests can hop on, hop off as many times as they want within a two hour frame time frame. The most popular route is along the National Mall. This route takes guests from Union Station around the Smithsonian Museums to all the popular monuments, memorials, and the U.S. Capitol. Okay. All right, how about biking and scootering? Okay, lots of act activities now for adventures, right? Uh, for those that want to move a little bit faster, there are a ton of options for bike rentals and scooters. Biking in DC is definitely one of the best ways to see the city as the city has expanded bike lanes and the most of the area is flat. Capital Bike Share allows guests to rent a bike from the dock and pay on site for a few hours or an entire day. A full day costs around $7. Biking in DC is definitely one of the best ways to see the city as the city has expanded bike lanes and most of the area is flat. Um, <clears throat> electric scooters are another excellent and fun way to get around the city. These can be found scattered along DC sideways, can be unlocked through the various apps, including Lyft, Uber, Lime, and Bird, okay? I haven't heard of Bird yet. Scooters are generally $1 to unlock 25 cents per minute of your ride. So lots of options, right? All right, how about water taxis? The city has two main waterfronts, Georgetown Harbor and the wharf. Each waterfront provides sightseeing tours, kayaking, paddle boating, and access to water taxis. The water taxi is a high speed commuter boat that seats a little over a hundred guests. It's a great option to avoid traveling through the downtown area during rush hour. The taxis connect the DC waterfronts with National Harbor in Maryland and Old Town Alexandria in Virginia. Taxis are out of service between January and February and they operate additional runs during the summer months. They also don't operate on Thanksgiving and on Christmas day. Okay, so remember that if you're booking for your client. So here's some opportunities for itineraries, two nights in Washington, D.C. What are we going to do? All right. So day one, stroll along the National. And you could screenshot this or save the slide to share it as an example. Stroll along the National Mall. Visit the monuments, memorials, and museums along. A free tip, pick and choose those of interest or visit the Smithsonian Visitor Center that will guide you on a selection of transportation options, including a walking tour with USA guided tour or the iconic red big bus, um, big bus or bike and roll, bike and roll for the young at heart or the historic old town trolley or the fancy new electric cars cost. Lunch in one of the museum's cafeterias a tip there, recommend a bite at the National Museum of the American Indian and the Capitol Building. A guided tour of the Capitol Building is free, okay? Catch a musical or a performance at the iconic Ford's Theater or National Theater or at JFK. 
Center for Performing Arts um, with their daily free 6 p.m. show. Nice. Okay, very good, Kathy. So see, you can take some visitors there, right? Enjoy dinner in downtown DC. Grab a cocktail at an amazing rooftop bar. Another tip, top of gate at the Watergate Hotel for a 360 degree view. Okay, overnight stay. Visit the National Gallery um, of Art to see 141,000 piece collection of Western art from the Middle Ages to the present, and it's free. Join a walking food tour of historic U Street, including the famous Ben's Chili Bowl with DC Metro or food tours. Carp DC, Carpe DC food and tours, or Urban Adventures food tours. So again, for your foodies, an option for them. Be a part of the fan thrill at a sports game at the Capital One Arena or Nationals Park, depending on the season. Dinner in DuPont Circle or at one of the many food stands located in our sports arenas. And then day three. Head to Georgetown for breakfast and walking. Shop on Georgetown's famous street, M Street. What's the famous street? M Street, right? Take a water taxi to the wharf. Eat fresh seafood at the wharf's municipal fish market. Again, one of the top places. Visit the fun museums nearby. Options include the International Spy Museum. Only $23 and Art House USD is $15. Enjoy dinner. Um, right now we're doing the second one, which is uh, the very bottom. Um, it is planning your travel to Washington. All right, and then uh, enjoy dinner at one of the Michelin starred restaurants, craving Indian food. Uh, you're welcome. Dine at one of our six Indian entrees, um, entries in the Michelin Guide 2020 Punjab Grill. Okay, experience DC's nightlife at one of the many nearby neighborhood bars. All right, and then another overnight stay. So add-ons of the above, you can also add on a cruise on the Potomac River. You can add on whiskey or brewery tour, and you can add on um, uh, experience Hillwood uh, Estate Museum and Gardens, okay? And then click here, get the best deals. So if you click here, just so you know, these always take you into other areas. So it's really nice to um, click on it again if you're saving um, information and stuff. Here it's requesting a quote. So they'll send you information for additional deals and stuff, okay? Um, so sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, Rick, Rick, I'm getting a call from Nebraska. Arthritis relief specialist this morning. Hi, my name is Charles Russell from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Nebraska. Hi, good, how are you? I'm just calling to follow up on your EFT um, request submission. Okay. Um, Sorry. Because there's a few things that confuse me about it. Okay. This is a this is a security check. Okay. So, um, I just want to make sure that you did in fact submit this EFT submission. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I know that there's something that says you're a travel agent in Las Vegas. Is that a yeah? Nice job? No, I'm an I'm actually an owner of a travel agency here in Las Vegas. I'm actually the owner of Arthritis Relief Specialist Advanced Healthcare. Um, so I'm not the doctor. We actually okay. own the business. I grew up in Omaha, Nebraska. I have a brother there in Lincoln. So we we just left there. We were there for three months opening up the clinic. Um, and we've got a doctor and a nurse practitioner along with the rad tech that are there running the office for us. And then we're going to come back after the holidays. Hey, that's cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. So... Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay.
Yeah. And if you look my um, EFT, I'm with Wells Fargo and my Wells Fargo is open here in Vegas. So you'll have my address here. Yeah. 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 And the reason we did that was I, I figured I could put, you know, work the bank here and there instead of opening up just a local bank because there's a Wells Fargo right next door to our office there. Oh, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So yeah. And, and now, now he's looking one and buy a house there because he loves Nebraska and everybody there. <laughs> so yeah. So, uh, but yeah, my parents, I don't know if you know, Lenoma beach, but they actually, we own that. And I grew up there um, for, you know, 20 years I worked out there. So. Um, is, that, is that where, is that the, it's like my, Yep, that's the lighthouse, the big lighthouse and the lake and everything. Yeah. When we owned it, we had the, the country bands out there. We had the boats and everything. It was great. And, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> yeah, my dad was a doctor actually in... Um, in Gretna and in in um, Omaha, and then my brother took over, and then I have many other, um, you know, my two nieces now are doctors there in in Omaha and Blair, and um, and then my sister is a physical therapist, doctor, and professor actually in San Diego now, so they all went to the <laughs> went to to school. I did. People start their small businesses and practices, and uh, yeah. It, it, that's interesting um how many how many areas are you into how many different areas as far as my business right yeah. now we just opened this clinic now but we look to um yeah linda can you come continue reading for me thank you sorry yeah, i'm on I, a I don't want to pick up much no it's it's fine yeah no she's um she All right, sorry guys. So did she finish day three or we're on the next page, right? World Trade Center and a 91. Okay. Do you want me to restart number two again since it's being recorded? Um, sure. Okay. I'll just kind of go back to where we were. All right. Sorry, <laughs> guys. I'm just so kinda... sorry. No, no worries. Okay. Thank you. You're okay. okay Do you want me go. to keep reading? Um, well, I can go ahead and take over. Did we just start here on day one or where? Are we right yeah, here? we were just uh, we were there on the we just finished the arrive in New York and we were just kind of doing the New York City tour day two. Perfect. Thank you. OK, and You're let welcome. me go. Ahead. No worries. OK, so New York City tour breakfast at hotel proceeds for New York City tour with entrance to Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, ferry ride on seat in coach basis. Highlights of the tour, Statue of Liberty Express one hour, nonstop cruise ferry ticket only Empire State Building's 86th floor observatory admission included. And then Rockefeller Center, St. Patrick's Cathedral, Round Zero, WTC World Trade Center 911. And then 911 Memorial, et cetera, overnight stay in New York. So um, just so you guys know, they have that um, uh, city pass too. When we went, we did that. We actually drove out to Washington, D.C. and then went to New York City and we did the city pass and got to do a few of these things through that city pass. And you guys get commission on that also. And I think it's in our Evo reward. So keep that in mind. All right. Um, day three, New York and Washington. Breakfast at the hotel. Depart to Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States of America. 
and a guide to the historic neighborhoods and monuments. Other than the federal government, tourism is DC's biggest industry. The city attracts almost 20 million visitors each year. Arrive Washington, transfer to the hotel. The day is free at leisure overnight in Washington. All right. And then Washington City tour after breakfast. Go ahead and proceed to Union Station for Washington, D.C. City tour on seat in coach basis. The most famous sites in Washington, D.C. are the stars of this tour of the U.S. Capitol. Tour the Capitol building and visit the White House's South Lawn and Visitor Center. Spend time at the Smithsonian Museums before heading to the World War II um, heading to the World War II and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. memorials, in addition to much more in between. Throughout the trip, you'll see much of D.C.'s finest monuments and structures, including the FBI building, Federal Triangle, Ellipse, Ellipse Tidal Basin, National Archives, Washington Monument, House and Senate Office Building, National Gallery of Art, and Grant Memorial. Every lunch at your leisure at one of the stops. Washington, day five, Washington, Buffalo, uh, USA side of Ni Niagara Falls. I used to haven't been there yet. That's one of my bucket lists. Check out from hotel, transfer you, we transfer you to the airport to, for flight to Buffalo. On arrival, we transfer to Niagara, the town of the world famous falls, which forms one of the natural wonders of the world. Transfer to Niagara Falls. The evening is free at leisure. Overnight stay in Niagara Falls. I also heard you're supposed to probably stay on the Canadian side at the embassy suite and you get a room that overlooks it. Beautiful. All right, Niagara Falls Discovery Pass. What else can be a better way than Niagara Discovery Pass to explore the Niagara Falls? Discovery Pass allows admission to Maid of the Mist. Uh, Caves of the Winds, Niagara Adventure Theater, G Gorge Discovery Center, and Aquarium of Niagara. And then day seven, depart from Niagara, Buffalo. After breakfast, transfer to the Buffalo Airport, fly back home, or to the next destination. The package includes six nights accommodation with breakfast, as per mentioned, or similar, guided city tour of New York with entrance to Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty ferry ride only on seat in coach basis. Guided Washington City tour on seat in coach basis. Niagara Discovery Pass. New York Airport hotel transfers on seat in coach basis. New York Hotel and coach station transfers on a private basis. One way coach ticket New York to Washington. Washington Coach Station and Hotel Transfers on a private basis. Washington Hotel Airport Transfers on seat in coach basis. And then Buffalo Airport, Niagara Falls um, Hotel Round Trip Transfers on a private basis. And then here's the hotels they're recommending. Hampton Inn Square or similar bed and breakfast. Washington, Hampton in Washington, D.C. or similar, and then comfort in um, the point or similar. OK, uh, click here to request quotes, get the best deal. Click here. OK, so different options um, again to help you to sell to your customer. OK. All right. Yeah, thanks, guys. Again, I appreciate. So sorry. We, as you know, I just got back from our office and they're just checking up on me and making sure I'm legit. All right, so let's take the quiz. Again, is everybody ready? Anna, did you get in? Again, we want to make sure everybody passes. Da, 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 da. All right, let me know and we'll get started. Okay. So the visitors can rent a bike in DC from Oops, Capital Bike Share. Capital Bike Share. All right. Do, 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 do. Thank you. All right. Next, Union Station serves as the main transportation hub to arrive and depart, hub for most of sightseeing to her departure, or both of the above. Both, both of the above. Uh, yep. Yeah. I agree. 
Which of these airports is closest to downtown DC? Reagan. You're Reagan? Thank yes, you. Reagan. Perfect. Smart trip card can be used for the Metro, the circulator bus, or both. Both. And Amtrak is the train system of Washington. It also offers two types of services. Which of these is the fast train? The Sela? Yeah. Thank you. Electric scooters can be found scattered along DC sidewalks. These can be rented from you know, various apps, Capital right? Capital bike share. Is it only Capital Bike Share? It's, it's various it's apps. Just, apps. Yeah. Various apps. The scooters right. are from apps. Yeah. Okay. All so right. What did we answer? It's various, various? apps for electric. Okay. Yep. Which of these is the major airport for international arrivals? Dulles. Dulles. Okay. And last but not least, Washington, D.C. is served by how many major airports? Three. Three. Three, which is right here, right? All right, everybody good? Again, make sure you've got all these answers. So again, Capital Bike Share. Can you leave it on for a bit? Yep. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, um... That's okay. Just take a screenshot too, if you don't want to type it or whatever. So you got the bike, um, Capital Bike Share. The Union Station does both of the above. The closest airport is Reagan. Um, the Smart Trip, both of the above. So you've got two that are both of the above. Amtrak, is, the fast train is a Sela. Did anybody hit submit? Did we get them all right? Well, I should. Yes, I so. did. They're all right. Perfect. Okay. Electric scooters can be found on various apps. The major airport is Dulles, and there are three airports. Okay. Okay. So again, I want to make sure everybody's good. Yay. So do you need me to go over it again or you got it? All good. Yeah, okay. very good. All right. Let me go ahead and submit. Ding, ding, ding. And there we go. Eight out of eight. Yes. All right. So again, download your certificate. Now you got two certificates today. So again, congratulations, everybody. Um, we can do one more if you want, or you guys can move on with your day. Let me know. You got two certificates. Might as well do one more. more. Do one more. Okay. Do one more. Somebody doesn't have to do to have guests tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So again, you don't have to, and I'm we recording it too. But, but this one's a good one, places of importance. So that'll be a nice cool. nice one to know where you can share, you know, what not to miss, right, for your clients. So we'll do this one really quick. Again, we're recording it. So again, I appreciate you guys. And if you have to go, I understand. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining me. And um, hopefully, again, it's the holiday. So I don't know if you'll be able to join me, but I will be doing a training on Friday and on Saturday. So hopefully we'll see you there. Oh, I hope to. <laughs> Yay. Again, if not, we will record it. So, all right. So this is places of importance. The National Mall is America's most visited national park, where the past, present, and future come together. Seeing the Washington Monument rise majestically to the sky, surrounded by the stately U.S. Capitol building at one end and the dignified Lincoln Memorial at the other. It's hard not to think of America's history. Explore the swath of land nicknamed America's Front Yard, and you'll find inspiring monuments and memorials, museums, and family fun. All right, so how many Smithsonian museums are there? We have actually 16 in total 
including the National Zoo. And each one of these is free to visitors and they are open every day except December 25th. For more information about opening hours, et cetera, visit um, si.edu. What is the National Mall? Do, do, do. But my tooth is starting to hurt again. And I went to the store and it's like, oh, he's something. National Mall is not a shopping mall, but rather a park in the middle of DC that holds some of the country's most iconic buildings and monuments, such as the White House. So it's actually kind of like a mall of buildings, right? So it's not a shopping mall, it's a, a historical site to see all these exciting places. All right, so let's get started on this course. Do, 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 do. Yeah, thank you guys again. I appreciate you and the ones that are hanging in there. Let's do it. Three certificates in a day. I might pay to upgrade. They saved us five seats. All right. National Mall. Again, save the slides. So you have, contrary to how it may sound, the National Mall, it's not a shopping mall, but rather a park in the middle of D.C. that holds some of the country's most iconic monuments and buildings, such as the White House. National Mall is part of America's national parks like Yellowstone and Yosemite. It is open 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It is approximately three kilometers long, anchored on one end by the U.S. Capitol and the other end of the Lincoln Memorial. Nine of the 16 Smithsonian museums are located here, as well as most of the monuments and memorials, and each of these is free of charge for the public. Circular body of water just below the strip is Tidal Basin, where the cherry blossom trees blooming during the annual um, National Cherry Blossom Festival into the spring. If anything, just do it for you and Cassie, nobody else. Okay, all right. Sorry, my son wants to pay an upgrade on his air for six people. I'm like, no, don't waste money. <laughs> all right, monuments of the National Mall. Look how cool that is. So you have Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, uh, newest addition on the National Mall, and the first time a non-president historic figure has been featured on a national monument. It is located along the Tidal Basin and is a great place to come to reflect. Lincoln Memorial. This is one of the most visited memorials of the National Mall, and with good reason. This is where Martin Luther King delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech, as well as the location for many famous films, including Forrest Gump. The landmark is so important to the image of America that it is inscribed on the US $5 bill. Have you guys seen the, the singing people in the, in the memorial um, on YouTube and stuff where they sing because it's so beautiful and stuff? Anyway, I got to visit there, it's pretty cool. All right, and then the Washington Monument located in the center of the National Mall. The Washington Monument is the second tallest structure in DC. DC. Visitors are welcome to ride to the top of the monument to get a bird's eye view of the city. Tickets are free and provided on a first come first serve basis. They are required for all visitors age two and up and can be ordered online at Recreation Government. All right, next. Landmarks around the National Mall. You have the U.S. Capitol Building. This is the location where the House of Representatives and Senate gather to discuss and pass legislation. And it is located at the far east side of the National Mall. Statue of Freedom, which sits on top of the U.S. Capitol Building, is the highest structure in the District of Columbia. Building is open for free daily tours. Visitors can sign up for an allotted time online at visitthecapitol.gov. The Library of Congress, located across the street from the U.S. Capitol building, connected through an underground tunnel. It is the largest library in the world. Admission is free and no times or tickets are needed. U.S. Supreme Court, the Supreme Court located, is located next to the Capitol building and Library of Congress. This is the highest court in the U.S. and open to the public for self-guided tours Monday through Friday. All right, and next, National Air and Space. 
All right. Oops. Sorry. Oh, here's my mouse. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, there we go. All right. So the most popular Smithsonian Museum, which is also the third most visited museum in the world. What is it? The third most one is the Smithsonian. Holds an extensive history of air and space travel and is fun for kids and adults alike. From the Wright Brothers original 193 flyer to astronaut space suits and a lunar rock sample. During the years, the collection has grown so large, there's a dedicated annex. The Stephen F. Udvarhazy Center near Dulles International Airport. Please note, National's um, Mall's location is currently being renovated. Okay, again, this may be older. Oh, but they said it will be, it, um, estimate end date is 2025. So it's in the process still. While the museum is still and will remain open throughout this time, exhibits will be limited. Okay, so maybe remember that. Um, history theme, national, I went here too. This was cool, okay. National Museum of Natural History boasts a ro ro rotating collection of over 127 million items, including the Hope Diamond, ancient Egyptian mummies, as well as the newly reopened Fossil Hall, which holds the nation's T-Rex, one of the largest, most complete T-Rexes ever discovered. Other exhibits include the Live Butterfly Pavilion and the Insect Zoo, which hosts live tarantula feedings. You have the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Newest Smithsonian Museum is the National Museum of African American History and the Culture, NMAAHC for short. Highlights include Harriet Tubman's hymnal, Nat Turner's Bible, a plantation cabin from South Carolina, uh, Michael Jackson, Jackson's fedora, Kobe Bryant's Lakers uniform, and much more. Timed entry passes, which are still free, are required form groups of 10 or more, okay? And then United States Holocaust Mem Memorial Museum, located just adjacent to the National Mall, specializes in the documentation, study, and interpretation of the Holocaust history. It is dedicated to helping citizens of the world confront hatred, prevent genocide, provide or promote human dignity and strengthen dem democracy. Free timed tickets are required between March and August and are available online. All right, you have official prints and arts. Bureau of Engraving and Printing, the US Bureau of Engraving and Printing produces US dollars for the Federal Reserve, our country's central bank, Tickets for individuals to tour the building and watch the process are available from nine to two and are distributed on a first come first serve basis. Group tours, 10 to 30 people run between 11 and 1230 and are applied to or for through the group reservation request form on the Bureau's website. Okay, that may be a test question, I don't know. National Gallery of Art. The museum preserves, collects and exhibits works of art from numerous countries, historical eras, including the only painting by Leonardo da Vinci in the Americas. Sculpture Garden attached to the National Gallery is the location of fun seasonal events, including jazz in the garden during the summer and an ice skating rink in the winter. <sighs> Quiz time. All right, National Children's Museum, newest museum to open in DC. National Children's Museum is a paid attraction aimed at children 12 and under, aimed to help develop their curiosity in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Tickets are 1095 for everyone over the age of one. International Spy Museum, located at La Infante Plaza Museum, welcomes visitors into the world of spycraft, teaches them about the past, present, and future of spying. Museum features real spy gadgets from around the world, as well as stories of both famous and little-known spies throughout history. Paid attraction group tickets are available. Tickets at the door, $23. Children up to six years old are free. All right. We may be even able to finish the other two if you guys want. So let's take this quiz quick. Tooth is hurting. All right. Children's Plaza in Friends. Thank you, Megan. All right. Um, Anna, to save the slides at the very top of the page, it shows you 
um, I just got out of it, but I'll show you on the next one. At the very top, it says add to itinerary and it saves the slides for you. All right, so Smithsonian museums are free to visitors. How many Smithsonian museums are there in total? 16, right? What is the National Mall? It's a park with nine Smithsonian museums, right? All right, visitors can ride to the top of which monument to get a bird's eye view of the city? Is it the Washington? Washington. Monument? Thank you. Where did the House of Representatives and Senate gather to discuss past legislations? Is it the Capitol building? Yes. Which of these is the third most visited museum in the world? The National Museum. Aerospace. The aerospace. aerospace. Thank you. What is also nicknamed America's front yard? The Washington, D.C., right? National Mall. It is the National Mall? Well, I think it is. Okay. Which of these buildings are around the National Mall? All of the above, right? All right, let's check it out. 16, park in the middle with nine museums, Washington Monument, US Capitol, National Air and Space, the National Mall, and all of the above. Ding, 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 bum, bum. Oh. Seven out of seven, look at that. Congratulations, guys. Oh, I missed that. Did you miss one? I missed two. Well, I was okay. trying to catch up. <laughs> did you um are you are you caught up now? Did oh, you at I least just, I just didn't see them. I haven't even seen these. Which buildings of these are around the National Mall? All well, of the them. Capitol. Oh, no, not this all of the above. Yeah. And Smithsonian museums are free to visit all visitors. How many are there? Oh, that was the 15. first one you did. Yeah. Okay, yeah. How many were there? 11? 16. 16. Okay. All right, I'll go back and retake it. All right, do it real quick so we can move on. And if you guys want to hang out, I'm going to go ahead and do food shopping and hopefully events. I have a presentation in a little bit, but hopefully I'll get this done. Okay, ask us if you have questions on it. I'm gonna get started on the food shopping and recreation. Again, we wanna make sure you pass, okay? So this is the food shopping, um, not nation's capital is a can't miss culinary destination where you can experience dining uh -oh. scene as colorful and electric as America itself. No denying the district is a dining destination. As the city receives the Michelin Guide treatment annually, no matter where you are in Washington, there's a variety of stores, boutiques, gift shops, and malls to find what you're looking for. DC is a very active city, lots of opportunities, including cycling, ice skating, water sports, and everything and offer in Rock Creek Park, from enjoying professional sports to riding the bikes and discover DC's active side. Do you have a question on any of the test questions? No, I got them. I got Perfect. it now. Yeah. How do you go back really fast? Do I have uh, to go way back to the beginning? Yeah, I don't know. I, I just yeah, keep probably. moving forward. All right, up here, just so you guys know right here, add to itinerary. Click there to keep all the slides. I know somebody was asking about that. So there you go. I think it was Anna. Okay. Then you can name it. So I'll put Washington, D.C. or whatever. There we go. All right, and then you can save it. You can email it even over to one of your clients if you want. Okay, so eating in DC, varied and developed food scene. One of the only four cities with Michelin Guide, which was renewed yet again. Oops. DC specialties include half smoke, ordinary hot dog, spicy, no ordinary hot dogs. It's a spicy sausage smoked and then grilled before laid on a white bun topped with onions, cheese, and chili. It's a DC must. You have mambo sauce. Invented in DC, sweet tangy sauce, usually put on fried chicken and fries, immensely popular with local Washingtoni Washingtonians. 
the Rose, DC drinks with Rose than anywhere else in the country. But we have plenty of other spirits produced right here in the city. Ethiopian food. DC has the largest population of Ethiopians outside of Ethiopia. Because of that, we are a great place to find delicious, authentic Ethiopian food and culture. Don't miss a traditional Ethiopian coffee ceremony while you're here. All right, cycling. DC is flat, bike friendly, city and cycling is without a doubt one of the best ways to get around and see parts of the city that you may not otherwise. Bike and Segway tours are an option to discover all the attractions. You have ice skating. During the wintertime, ice skating rinks pop up at various locations throughout the city. Perhaps the most popular is located within the Sculpture Garden of the National Gallery of Art, pictured here. Other popular rinks are on the water, especially at the wharf and in Georgetown. But you can even ice skate while overlooking the city on a rooftop of the Watergate Hotel. Wow, that's kind of cool, right? Rock Creek Park, okay. Uh, National Park located at, right in the heart of DC, two times larger than New York Central Park. Wow, that's huge then. Offers visitors opportunity to escape the bustle of the city, find a peaceful refuge, recreation, fresh air, majestic trees and wild animals. Kayaking and water sports. As you know, DC um, is located on two rivers, Potomac and the Anacostia. The waters are clean, used for a variety of sports, including kayaking, paddleboarding. Kayak rentals run anywhere from $15 to $35 an hour, while paddle boards are $22 per hour. And then shop till you drop. Okay. Sales tax in DC is 6%. That's cheap. It's eight. 850.5 here. While you go shopping all over the city, some of the most popular areas in Georgetown and City Center, Georgetown Shopping, famous M Street, one of the best streets for shopping in the city. Brands ranging from high street to designer, historic neighborhood provides a at great atmosphere for an afternoon of shopping and indulgence. City center shopping, as the name suggests, city center is located right in the center of downtown and is hub for luxury and designer brands. DC also has two major shopping outlets located just outside its border. Tanger outlets at National Harbor, located in National Harbor MD, 30 minute drive from downtown, includes some 85 brand name outlets. And then you have the Leesburg Corner premium outlets, Located near Dulles International Airport, 35 miles from Washington, shop more than 110 designer name brand outlet stores. All right, already ready for our quiz? See how fast that is? Bam, bam, bam. I'm You're ready. Doing great, guys. Okay, let's go. And then we only have one left. So look at you guys. I missed the answers to the second segment. Okay, Anna, ask us the questions. We'll tell you right off, okay? So if you want to do it really quick right now so you can get caught up with us, we'll help you. Were you talking to me? Are you Anna? Yes. No, but I did. <laughs> oh, no, Anna asked, um, she missed the answers to the second segment. That's what I did. Okay. I missed the answers. Okay. My mic is oh. not working. Okay, Anna, go ahead and oh, put in the chat okay. box and we'll tell you the answers. Or if somebody has the answers, you guys can type it in there. All right. Which of these drinks is most famous in the city? That was Rose. Which of the below rivers is Washington, D.C. located on? Isn't it the Potomac? Or both. both of them? It's on both. Thank you. Both. Which of these non-traditional modes are the best to experience the city? That is both. Rock Creek Park is in the heart of Washington and is twice bigger than New York Central Park. That is true, because we just commented on that, right? Twice bigger, that's correct, right? All right, which country's cuisine is most famous in Washington, D.C., apart from American, Ethiopian? Sales tax is only 6%. During winter time, ice skating rinks pop up various locations throughout the city. That is true. Correct? Yes. And M Street, famous for shopping, is located where? Georgetown. Georgetown. 
All right. Very good. You guys got that? Okay, both of the above. Both of the above. Rose, Ethiopian. Let's check it out. Wait a minute. Which which of the below rivers? Oh, you say both, both. of them. Yep, both. Oh, I see both now. Okay. All right, eight out of eight. Congratulations, guys. Look how many courses you've completed. And we're now on our last one. Again, let us know if you're missing any questions. We will help you with that. And by the way, your certificates are popping up on the emails. So you've got those also. All right, last course, can guys. You, Go ahead. I was going to say, can you run over the answers really quickly? I'm sorry. My stupid screen wouldn't let me um, do the quiz. Two of them are all of the above, all of the above, um, both rivers. Um, what are the other ones? Georgetown. Georgetown. Six um, percent. Six percent. Uh, true. True. For the, for the skating true. rink. Both of them are true. There's two trues. Yep. You got it. And then the rivers was both of the above, both. right? Correct. Yes. And then what's Ethiopian the cuisine? food? Ethiopian. Oh, Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Yep. And the drink was that was rose. rose. Okay. Rose. Thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. All right. Last course, events, festivals, and performing arts. You can find amazing festivals, events taking place year round in Washington, DC, wide variety of things to do spread across the city's many neighborhoods. Um, visitors and locals can enjoy everything from annual festivals and holidays, oh celebrations to oh new museums. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Okay, good. I hope you guys are fixing these. Okay. Um, concerts and so much more. All right, let's do it. Do it, do it. Again, if you're still waiting on some of the questions on the other ones, let us know. We will answer them for you. Okay. We don't want to leave anybody behind. Want to make sure everybody passes. There are over 3,700 cherry blossom trees in DC, which were gifted to the city uh, by the mayor of Tokyo in 1912. That's cool. You guys know that? I didn't. Most of these trees can be found around the tidal basin and framing the monuments of the National Mall all bloom together in early spring, late March, early April. During this time, there's a large festival. Entire city celebrates with a week-long series of events, including a parade and kite festival. Local bars and restaurants also enjoy um, join in join in with cherry blossom themed specialty items. Passport DC is a month long journey around the world right in the heart of DC. Over 70 of DC's embassies open their doors to the public at various times throughout the month and display their culture and food. This is the only event of its kind in the world. So that's the Passport DC, okay? month long you have the jazz fest in june the for two weeks uh jazz fest sees the usually musical city erupt with jazz it can be found almost everywhere you look from large venues like the Ken kennedy center and the wharf to usually quiet street corners fourth of july what better place celebrate the birth of the usa than the na nation's capital grab a hot dog or half smoke sit on the nation national mall watch the city light up with red white and blue the festivals late night into the night um late or last last late into the <laughs> the festivals last late into the night with fireworks flying over the Potomac River, lighting up the national monuments, no matter where you come from, we've all got a reason to celebrate. Oops, go this way. And winter break. Winter is a magical time in the city. Top winter activities, ice skating, visiting the national Christmas tree, browsing holiday uh, markets and catching a holiday themed show at one of the many theaters. One of the most unique winter activities in the city is zoo lights. Each year, the National Zoo, which is always free, lights up with a colorful display of over 500,000 environmental friendly LED lights and invites the public in for special activities and performances. 
You have the DC Gen uh, John F. Kennedy Center for Performing Arts, DC's largest, most popular theater, which overlooks the Potomac River near the National Mall. Theater is not only the home to world-class paid performances, including musicals, ballets, and operas, but also free shows daily beginning at 6 p.m. You can also head up to its rooftop restaurant for drinks after the show, as well as breathtaking view of the surrounding landscape. And our last <laughs> famous for being the local, this is Ford's Theater, the location of President Lincoln's assassination. Okay? The theater still runs performances to this day, as well as historical tours. If you are interested in knowing all the theater offers in DC, Theater Washington is a comprehensive site that groups all the 80 plus theaters in DC to provide a full calendar performances and purchase tickets. All right, last one guys, let's do it. Do it, do it. Let's go and congratulations. Thanks for hanging in there guys. This did, turned out pretty well, an hour and a half and we got it all done. Cherry Blossoms trees were, were gifted to Washington, D.C. by, wasn't it the mayor of Tokyo? What is the yes. period of National Cherry Blossom Festival? When is the festival? March and April. March and April. April. Which of these is a famous for President Lincoln's assassination? Ford's, Ford's Theater. Theater. Which of these is the home to the world-class paid performances, including musicals, ballets, operas, and free shows daily beginning at 6 p.m.? JFK. JFK. Okay, what date is considered the birthday of the USA? Um, <laughs> June? <laughs> you better not get this one. one wrong, okay? <laughs> All right. Which is the event where the various embassies open the doors to the public to display their culture and their food? That was Passport DC, Passport. right? Passport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do it. Do it, do it. Bum, bum, bum. So again, congratulations, everybody. Six out of six. Down Yay, thank Washington. You. Like, you got your full downtown Washington, download Washington, D.C. certificate. Let's check it out. Again, congratulations, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Glad you guys hung out with me. Glad we were able to get through this. Again, I apologize for the interruption, but we got it done. Now I can get paid. No. <laughs> 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 you want to make sure that, right? It's like, oh, it's been, a, it's been a tough four months over there, three months. So, but uh, we just, yeah, we just got the approval. We started September 7th and Blue Cross Blue Shield just gave us our approval today. So that was them verifying. Yay. So, yay. All right. I'm trying to pull up. It's still downloading, I think. So um, there it goes. All right, guys. So again, congratulations. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Uh, we will do this again on Friday. Um, again, um, I'm kind of off with the hours because I've been working in central time. So what time are we on Friday? Is it the same time noon Pacific or what time is it yes, on Friday? One, yeah. yeah, one Eastern. One Eastern. So it'll be 10 o'clock, right? 10 o'clock um, Pacific, right? And then on yeah. Saturday, it'll be... It's 11 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, and then 8 o'clock. Okay, perfect. All right, look at that cool certificate, guys. So again, make sure you post your certificates. Let people know you're a specialist now with Washington, D.C. All the exciting informational information, you know, um, for kids trips, for families, you know, historical. Um, again, New York City's right around the corner. So make it a, an exciting, you know, Niagara Falls, New York City, you know, Washington, D.C., all that exciting stuff. So get out there, market yourself, share the experiences, share with your team. Say, hey, guys, you got to get on these certificates. They're fun. You, know? <laughs> you learn a lot, right? So um, congratulations oh, again. again. Yeah, which one do you need, need help with? Go ahead and read it off. Just the answers for the last one, all of them, because I'm in the store.
Okay. Um, does anybody have it off? Read the um, questions. Yeah, I don't Read know. The questions. Yeah, I don't know if I can get back to the questions. Let me try. Let me see if I can get back to it. Da, 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 da. Read if the not, questions. Yeah. Do you, are you able to pull up the questions? Here, let's let's see. Let me see if I can go back. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Come on. Is it working? Okay. All right, so the question, the answers are mayor of Tokyo, okay? The second one is April, March through April, which is the Cherry Blossom Festival. Um, Ford's Theater is where President Lincoln was assassinated. John F. Kennedy is where all the ballet operas and everything else are. July 4th is our birthday for the USA. And then the food festival opens the doors is the Passport DC. So Passport DC, John F. Kennedy, Ford's Theater. Okay, just so you know, the President Lincoln is Ford's Theater. John F. Kennedy is the opera. Okay, because it's the same one. Thank for you. Both. I got it. it. Yay. All right. All right, guys, you guys have an amazing time and I will see you on Friday. All right. Don't eat too much. <laughs> Be careful you traveling. You too. <laughs> Thank bye -bye. you. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you.